In this video we have performed dye to sublimation ink changeover. The same steps can be used to perform dye to pigment ink changeover, to perform the changeover successfully. You'll need, a container, tissue papers, transfer solution, 6, 10 ml syringes, flathead screwdriver, funnel, and splash jet sublimation inks. Before performing ink changeover please take a nozzle pattern to check the current status of the print head. If nozzle pattern is not proper then avoid ink changeover. Power on the printer. Cut power from the supply instantly, once the head is free to move. Gently unplug the dampers with the help of flathead screwdriver. Take out the damper carefully and starts purging ink from the damper. Insert the syringe at the bottom of the damper and start purging process. Don't put pressure on transparent film of the damper. It may damage it. Instead hold it this way. You can store this dye ink in old ink bottle. Use separate syringes for each color. Now repeat this process with remaining dampers. Once ink is removed, fill the ink tanks with approximate 30 milliliters of transfer solution using funnel. Shake well to clean the ink inside of the tank. Repeat the purging process to flush out dye ink from tank, dampers, and pipes. Use a container to collect the waste ink.
Now repeat this process with remaining dampers. Repeat this process at least two to three times to flush out ink completely from tank, damper, and pipes. Once you start receiving only transfer solution out in syringe, the flushing process is complete. Now it's time to perform head cleaning to remove dye ink from the print head. Fill 10 milliliters of sublimation ink and perform purging to remove transfer mixing completely. Now repeat this process with remaining dampers. Top-up sublimation ink in the ink tank. To get the inks to damper, plunge air out of the damper till the ink starts to come up. Now 
repeat this process with remaining dampers. Now press all the dampers to lock them. And place all the pipes in their respective positions. Now it's time to perform head cleaning. In case you didn't get the perfect nozzle pattern, perform head cleaning at least two to three times. If the nozzle pattern is still not perfect, then keep the printer idle for a few hours and check for nozzle pattern again.